All right then. Who? Who's it? Someone here? Who is it? Who? Who do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Cooper. Despicable. Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends! A lot of antiques sell, too! Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not these, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait! You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say, you're hunting. Um, wait! Well, I hear about those dang things again. Ah, I got it. Hotel. Hotel is got to see you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. It's folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. Well, those Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all have all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you got it here as I'll trough it up? <laughs> you got it. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Well, I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. Wait, what? But I just... Whatever. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say... What did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, huh, that's a fine name. It's a fine name indeed. Well done, Murphy. It's money all. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. I am not. I'm not. I am not some thug with a freaky smiley face. <laughs> if you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwonk Fortress. Just pass the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. All right, whatever. Well, hello there. My name is Scoopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, that snowball, and, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monster hook tail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you. Who's Koops? My boyfriend Koops is just sort of, well, wishy-washy. He's not quite timid, but, well, I guess I just wish he would be more, you know, manly sometimes. Oh, Koops, why do I have to fall for someone like him? <gasps> Wait, was that allowed? Don't you dare tell him I said I fall for him, please! I beg of you! And what if I do? So yeah, this is a, uh, Koops. What do you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail's castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. It eats people, often. Um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. That's Koops from Pedalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a uh, cringer, you know? But he's certainly got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. We're gonna find out later on. I'll tell you that. Oh. We got an email. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, throughout your journey, you'll get, like, um, e emails from people, such as Professor Frankly. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here in e form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this. One like this one, while you're on your journey. So check your mail often. I actually had nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankly. And when you get emails from people, I think, uh, add a little picture to it. See that little piece of paper in that yellow trash can that you might have noticed back in his, um, his lab, or whatever you call it? You're gonna know what that's about later on. Some lady for a side quest. Um, I don't think there's anything else. An old, an old stronghold called Swamp Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please! Oh, it's Coops. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how do we begin? But my name's Coops. Yes, we already know that. Your girlfriend told me, and she, and she also said why did? And she also asked why did she fall for you? <laughs> I 
I heard you're trolling the Hooktails Castle. So anyway, I uh, I'm a favor to ask. Uh, well, um, oh, just 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 forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good goodbye. Wow. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Weirdo. All right, so this is the um, the road to the Shrunk Fortress, which is a little mini dungeon type. All right, come on, come on, yo. All right, new enemy, Koopa Troopa. Tackle him. Yeah, all right. There we go. Um, um, I'm giving you some time to read that. You can pause the video, then you can read it. Because I'm not going to read every little description. I may do it for the bosses, so I feel like actually tallying the bosses. So when you jump on the Koopas, you can knock them upside down, and they will be defenseless, basically. And you can keep them defenseless as long as you keep jumping on them, like any other Koopa Troopa. Or any other Mario enemy, as a matter of fact, except the spiked ones. Oh, damn it! This one, the enemy that can give a, give a first strike on you, because, you know, he has that little shell attack. That's how he gets to the fight, like that, you know? Alright. I was gonna kill this guy, then they will have absolutely no way of doing any more damage to me than that one little first strike. Alright, don't really need that. Uh, you don't, you don't really need any star power in this around this point. Ah, cool. So I'm helping junk. I was checking bushes. Yeah, yeah. Is this just me? Is this area darker? Yeah, yeah. All right. Coin. Kill this dude. Alright, so that Koopa there has a sleepy sheep item that puts enemies to sleep. <coughs> so you want to knock him out there. Alright, oh! Like I said, I do not need any star power. Because I have maximum star power. But I, I don't even need. I'm not even going to be using star power throughout this entire world. That's all. Never did before, did I? Thanks for the help. Another power block. Cool. I'm gonna need that. This is part of Swamp Fortress. We got a couple pestles here. That's it. It looks pretty decent, but this place is actually insanely old. Did you know that? I'd say it was built about a thousand years ago. Yep, what virate ruins. <laughs> yeah. Just about everything relates to what happened a thousand years ago. I mean, cry out loud. It's the thousand year door. Alright, uh, wait, what am I doing? Let's just fight them. Alright. This. Okay, enjoy this moment while it lasts. This is the only time you're gonna be seeing, uh, bald clefts. These are the only two bald quests in the whole entire game, in this little mini boss fight. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. I'm gonna hate number one. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't hurt. This fire doesn't even hurt. Might be best to attack with, say, a pal block? Well, alright then, the only way you can beat these guys is with a pal block anyway. And we destroy the pedestals, that will do damage to us, so make sure to avoid that. 
Well, that fight's extremely easy. So yeah, we just killed the only two bot class in the whole entire universe. Too bad, eh?